Welcome to the homework for lesson eight. This is module four of grade one. Write your name here first, please. And we have, we're drawing numbers using quick tens and circles and using phrases from the word bank. Here's the word bank. So you know how to spell greater and equal. Those are two of the harder words to spell. You can just look right there to copy them and know how to write them. To complete the sentence frames to compare the numbers. The first one has been done for you. So you can see right here, they give you the numbers. You draw the, the quick tens and the ones and you write in here, you write either less than or greater than or equal to. So here we go in B. There's 14, that's a 10. And one, two, three, four ones. 22 is two tens and one, two ones. 14 is less than 22, so that's what I'm going to write. 14 is less than, just like that. So 15 is a 10 and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And here we have in unit form one ten and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. And these are equal. So we were right. Fifteen is equal to one ten five ones. And thirty nine, we've got to draw that. So that's one, two, three tens and nine ones. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty nine is two tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now you can see both of these numbers have the same amount of ones, they both have nine ones, but thirty nine has more tens, so it's greater. So thirty nine is greater than twenty nine is. greater than 29. 31 has one, two, three tens and a one. 13 has one ten and three ones. So 31 has more tens. 13 has more ones. Well, tens are bigger than ones, so it's better. It's it, 31 is greater because it has more tens. And just think what, like if you're going to count, which would you say first if you're counting 13 or 31? Well, after 13, you'd have 14, 15, 16. You'd keep going, but eventually you would get to 31. It's a lot bigger. So 31 is greater than 13. 23, that's two tens and three ones, so it's two tens, one, two, three ones, and 33 is three tens, three ones, that's one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now, 33 has more tens, and if it's got more tens, it's greater. But we're starting with 23, so we can't say, we can't just cross out and change it, so 23 is it's not greater than 33. It's not equal to 23 is less than. 23 is less than 33. Circle of numbers that are greater than 28. Well, 30, anything, 30 anything is going to be greater than 20 anything. So there, 32. 29 is one more than 28. Two tens, eight ones. That's the number 28. It's equal to 28. So I'm not going to circle it because I'm only circling ones that are greater than 28. So equal to, not good enough. Four tens is 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. That's four tens. That's more than 28. And 18, that's 10 less than 28. So it's less than. I'm not going to circle it. Now we're circling numbers that are less than 31. Well, any 20 anything is going to be less than 30 anything. So that's less than. 
Three tens, six ones is 36. And that 36 is going to be more than 31 because it's going to have the same number of tens, but it's got five more ones. It's greater than, so I can't circle it. Three tens without any ones is just 30. That is less. That's one less than 31. 13 is a 10 and three ones. There's, it has two less tens. That has to be less. And three tens, nine ones, that's 39. That's greater than 31. So I can't circle that one. Write the numbers in order from least to greatest. <clears throat> so these four numbers, what's the smallest one first? Least is, let's see, not the 30s because the 20s are both smaller than those. And this is 29 and that's 23. So 23 is less than 29. So 20. 3 and then 29 and then we can do the 30s now which one is 30 would come before 32 all right where would the number 27 go in this order use words or rewrite the numbers to explain you could just say it would go in between the 23 and the 29 or you can just rewrite the 23. I'm going to circle 27. Write the numbers in order from greatest to least. So now the greatest one goes first. So the largest one is going to have the most tens. And we have one ten, three tens, three tens, four tens. That's the biggest one, 40. And now we want the next largest number. So we, we don't have any 40s left to choose from. But we do have a couple of 30s here. So here's two in the 30s. And 31 is one more than 30. So that has to go next. And then the 30. And then finally this 13. Is the least or smallest where would the number 23 go in this order so for here 20 anything is going to have to go in between the 30s and the teens so it's going to have to go right here in between the 30 and the 13 you don't have to write that arrow right there I just kind of drew that to show where I was looking so I'm going to write the, rewrite the numbers here. You could say it would go in between the 30 and the 13 and just write that sentence out. Or you can just write 40, 31, 30, 23, 13. And you don't have to circle the 23, but I'm going to circle it anyway, just because that's just that that's the number you have to show where it was. Use the digits 9, 4, 3, and 2. to make four different two-digit numbers less than 40. Write them in order from least to greatest. So four different two-digit numbers. They already gave us two of them. <clears throat> so, But I'm going to come up with a, a, some others. So let's see. I, it can't start with 9 because there will be 90. Right, and 90 anything is going to be bigger than 40. So, and then we have 4. So that would make 42, which would be bigger than 40, or 43, which is bigger than 40, or 49, which is bigger than 40. So all those, we can't have 9 tens, and we can't have 4 tens. We can only have 3 tens or 2 tens. So we could have, if we're just going to draw some place value boxes here. Now, maybe you don't have to do this, but this might help if you, if you feel a little stuck. And then remember, at the end of this, after we've figured out the four numbers, we're going to have to write them in least to greatest afterwards. 
So let's see, we can't start with a 9 because that would be 90 something and a 4 would give us 40 something, but we can start with 3. Uh, and then we can use any other digit. Or we could use the 3 twice. It doesn't say we can't, so we could have 33. Uh, we could do another one with 30. We could have 39. And then we could have 34. And then we could use the 20 first and just start with 20. We can make it 22. There. Now let's write them. They're all less than 40. And now we just write this least one first. The smallest one is the only 22 is the only one on the 20. So 22. And then the 30. We have 33, 34, and 39. So that would be 33, 34, and 39 is the greatest.